Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, PC Reviews 51. Today we're doing another uh, statue here from Sideshow Collectibles, rather new release uh, for review number 166. We have Lino from the Thundercats, the uh, the Lord of Thundercats, number 56 of 400 manufacturer. This is a premium format statue, guys, the exclusive. Looks like there was 400 total manufactured. So uh, let's go ahead and get past this boring shipper, get to the artwork box, take a look at that. Then of course, as always, get straight to the statue. So let's go ahead and take a look at the artwork box right now. Okay, guys, just crack this out of the shipper here. Uh, box comes pretty basic. Thundercats with the Thundercats logo there. Uh, here's the side of the box. Really nothing too special. Uh, just some pretty decent artwork there. Um, we'll take a look at the bottom of the box right quick since this isn't really too heavy. And really nothing, guys. Just the uh, Sideshow UPC sticker with an association with Warner Brothers. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, put this thing together, take a look at it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it comes with some pretty unique features that I remember from the cartoon. Uh, the chest plate, of course, the Eye of Thunder, as you see there. Um, what was it, the sword you had? Guard, Guard of Omens? God, I can't remember. I could be wrong. But, let's go ahead and put it together, check it out right now. Okay, guys, so what I did, I just cracked this open, and this is actually the base. And, ironically enough, I remember this. This is the Cat's Lair. Um, like, right, it kind of looks like a frog. It's really weird, but this looks, this is the cat's lair. Remember the teeth, remember the entrance on the bottom. Uh, let's just, let me go this other way here. Show you guys the bottom of the base here. Okay, there we go. Thundercats, number 56 of 400, and I'm having trouble holding it. Lino, later the Thundercats. So I want to show you guys that base. I thought that was really cool. They put that theme on there for this base. Um, but I'm gonna be honest, my childhood favorite cartoon was Thundercats. And I know there's a Mumra, Mumra statue I should have any day now. So that'll probably be the next video on statues, guys. So now I'm gonna go ahead and complete putting this together on Lino. So let's take a look at the fully assembled statue right now. And here we have it, boys and girls. Lino, Thundercats, Lord of Thundercats. Right there. Now, I do have a few complaints about this statue, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I like the, like the feline facial features, of course, on Lino. Which, I'm going to show you guys the exclusive. Now, the gripes I have, the sword actually is supposed to, like, go at an angle over his head. Absolutely will not do that. Um, here's the other one. This hand, this foot, like, as you guys will see right here. The foot that with the peg in it all the way in. That foot is supposed to be steady against that, uh, against the, uh... Cat's lair, not it's not so i will be contacting sideshow about this some of the fact that that looks stupid i mean let's just be honest um but let's see here guys okay he's got the the guard of the guard of omen sword right there um but overall i mean i like the of course the chest the chest plate you know that's nice uh the uh what was it the eye of, of thunder i god i could be wrong if i'm saying that wrong i apologize but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But uh, I'm going to also show you guys the exclusive head um, uh, that came with the whole head sculpt. But let's take a good shot. Look at this. I mean, overall, it's a great statue. It just sucks that, you know, it didn't come out with, like, the sword. It's not at a good angle. And that foot should be touching that rock, and it's not. Um, but we'll just still go over it, guys, because I'm sure I might have just got a bad piece here. So just look at the back of it. I mean, but overall, I mean, it's a badass statue. It's just the couple. I mean, that's pretty. I mean, I think if you guys, if you guys collect these, you're watching the video. I mean, you are going to understand. I don't think this would be acceptable for many people either. So, yeah, this is definitely I'll be contacting Sideshow about. Um, but in case you do want to order it, guys, I'm sure all of them aren't like this. But let's take a good look at the head sculpt. It's pretty freaking mean. I mean, that's a badass head sculpt for Lino. But right now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and change it out. And put the exclusive on. It actually lights up, has LED feature. So I'm gonna change that out and show you guys right now. Okay, guys. So just swap the uh, face out, and as you see right there, the uh, exclusive head on Lino, the green eyes that light up. I mean that that's dirty right there. But it does require batteries. You can't keep it on at all times. Um, there's a little switch when you take it off right here, guys. Be careful. As you see right there, there's a little switch that'll turn it on and off. So I'll just turn it off, and you'll see right there, it doesn't light up. But uh, overall, I mean, I have to rate my statue like a 6 out of 10, but if it came out right, definitely a 10 out of 10, man. But it just sucks that this happened like this, especially that I have Mummer, Mummer coming uh, to accompany this piece. But Sasha, one thing about them, guys, they're really good on 
making good on their deals. If something's flawed, they've always replaced it for me. So that's going to close this video out, guys, for view number 166. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was short and brief, but I'm going to be honest. These flaws kind of kind of suck. So, all right, guys. Line up, Thundercats. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're number 166, don't forget if you're new here, hit that sub button. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh, I will be posting a mummer probably really soon, as I expect it to come in the mail, actually tomorrow. So, that'll be up in the next day or two. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one. Peace out, guys.